Joining me now is attorney for Save America, Christina Bob, and the senior advisor for Trump 2020 and Trump's 2016 campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski. I'm going to start with the legal expert, Christina Bob. Um, Honig needs a talking head now on CNN or MS, wherever the hell he is, but he really did kind of out what Jack Smith's real issue is, is get Trump convicted prior to an election. What are your thoughts on it? What won't... Wanted, I mean, I know this is a judge, not a jury, but, but won't these people see through this and, and maybe overturn anything conviction they might get? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm uh, kind of surprised that CNN had such an accurate uh, analyst on the show. Uh, we can see very clearly what Jack Smith is trying to do. This is election interference, and we've seen it before, as you and I have talked about before, with the Bob McDonald case. And if you look at what Jack Smith did in that case, he made sure it went to trial by August and by July and August. He got a conviction in September. The 2014 election was shortly thereafter that. And the whole point of it, that that is the timeline he wants, and he wants to do that again with Donald Trump here. Uh, I, I do hope the people see through it. I don't think he'll get a conviction, even though uh, it's a D.C. jury. I do think that Donald Trump will prevail. But the timeline is key here, and that is why Jack Smith is pushing this. And CNN was right. You know, Corey, it's, it is interesting how all these different jurisdictions, the two federal cases, the two state cases, um, they're, they're just grasping at straws. And again, you look at the polls, and the polls have Trump you know, over 50 percent in the first three states the first three contests which puts him over the matter what haley does or desantis does eric look it's very simple we have seen the weaponization of the justice department if donald trump decided not to run for president again they wouldn't have gone after him joe biden's poll numbers are anemic his campaign is anemic donald trump was in new hampshire this weekend i had the chance to spend time with him Eight thousand people at a rally in a college town in eastern New Hampshire doesn't ever happen for a candidate. When Nikki Haley comes or somebody else comes, there's 100, maybe 50. On a good day, 200 people. Donald Trump comes and tens of thousands of people show up because they want to fix this country. The weaponization of the Justice Department, what Jack Smith is doing, the two-tiered system, Hunter Biden not being prosecuted for defying a congressional subpoena, unlike Stephen Bannon and, and Peter Navarro, the people want their country back, and that's why Donald Trump is going to win. One of the uh, media personalities on the left, Scarborough, Joe Scarborough, claims to have, I don't know, claims to be a Republican or used to be. I know he was a Republican congressman back 150 years ago, but certainly isn't, isn't conservative by any means anymore. But he says, well, listen to him. I am still shocked by the clowns. Uh, who claim to be media critics out there, uh, it's absolute clowns that, that attack the media for reporting this. And, and sounds like you just don't get it. You don't understand his connection with the audience. You just have to understand, but you're actually helping him by focusing on, you know, saying he's fascist. It missed the much bigger point that we're in the fight uh, for, for American democracy, and he's becoming more and more explicit on how he wants to take American democracy down. Uh, he, he can say whatever he wants, but if you watched Saturday, if you look at that UFC fight in Las Vegas, you saw Trump enter an arena with tens of thousands of people cheering, adoring fans. It doesn't matter what Joe Scarborough says. The people, the people want Trump, Corey. They absolutely do. Look, everywhere Donald Trump goes, the crowds are bigger and better than ever. And so, look, th there are more people probably in that arena on Saturday night after Donald Trump left New Hampshire, flew across the country, went to the fight Saturday night, didn't finish up till probably one or two in the morning East Coast time. Let's put his schedule up against Joe Scarborough or Joe Biden's any day of the week, and let's see who comes out on top. Let's put the two of them in a crowd together and see who gets more people to show up. You know, Joe's, Joe's uh, ratings are clearly anemic like uh, Joe Biden's polling data. Yeah, fi final thought here, Christina. Bob, the people are speaking and it has nothing to do with any of these, these lawsuits that are, they're, they're trying to nail Trump with. Yeah, well, the, the indictments only further revealed to the American people what a witch hunt this is and how the establishment is after Donald Trump, which increases his poll numbers. And Corey's exactly right. I was in New Hampshire as well. And there were thousands of people uh, curious about Donald Trump, folks that were uh, Democrat and independent coming out to see him. I, I spoke with several people in the crowd there. And there were a lot of people that were Trump supporters, but a lot of people were saying, you know, I'm just curious what he's about. And they're doing that because of what the establishment is doing. This is Donald Trump's race to win, and he's going to win it.